you know what Camille wants. You know when she's happy and you know when she's sad. I feel liberated, relinquished from my disability. I pray that not you go. I will put progress and people The best time, I think, for Camille, period, is when her music therapist is here. I acquired a recumbent tricycle for my 10th birthday. If you eat a palace when you get hit with a ball, you become the ball. I like it because it gives me a sense of camaraderie with my dad, and I like the atmosphere of races. I believe it has brought us closer, strengthening our bond. I have absolute feel apart. We had no idea anything was wrong with her about two hours. After uh, she was born, she suffered a seizure, and we don't really know what's wrong with her even today, but she has some type of brain malformation. One of the The CP and the dystonia affects me every day. Some days are better than others. I need help feeding, toileting, and bathing. If I want to exercise, I need help for some exercises. Pretty much every conceivable way, my disability impedes. They told us that she most likely would not survive. We decided that we were going to bring her home and keep her at home with us as long as we could and try to make her life as happy as we could. So we have spent the last eight years trying to make her room very accessible for her. So I get up in the morning and I get dressed. I eat breakfast. I get my ear. I go off to work. I work in an apartment. I have to see in my school classes the individual Children that Fragile Kids Foundation serves are the most fragile in, in, in our society. And the fact that I can be a part of an organization that takes care of those kids when they're outside of the hospital, making sure that they get the things they, they need, that they can go on the vacations with their families and be able to roll around on a beach in a wheelchair with specially made tires is very, very gratifying to me. I use my I could not have gotten this to the kids so I did it, so it was better. Every day, I utilize a shower chair, a manual chair, and a power chair. I also ride a stair lift to travel to the upstairs from the downstairs and vice versa. She has to have a lot of electrical equipment, like a ventilator, pulse ox, an oxygen concentrator, we had to actually rewire her room with extra electrical outlets. We have had to uh, redo her bathroom so that we can actually utilize uh, the shower to give her a bath. And thanks to Fragile Kids, we have been able to purchase a bed, which is safe for her. My equipment is evolutionary. It makes getting around much easier and lifts the pressure off family members. I don't have to rely on somebody to transport me, which then could lead to danger. You know, when you do need everything to collect, you want to look. You need to have everything to collect. But I have to see the kidney in that prison. So one of the most powerful things I ever saw was uh, a young lady by the name of Kylie, uh, a, a talk that she gave to one of the Fragile, Fragile Kid Foundation events at the aquarium and how 
uh, incredibly grateful that she was that the equipment that we provided to her through the Fragile Kids Foundation and what, it, what it, an effect it had on her ability to go to school, to go to college and do those things and to hear this young lady with, uh, with cere severe cerebral palsy and the effect that it had on her ability to articulate language but to hear her thank us all for uh, the support that we give through the Fragile Kids Foundation was just powerful. Yeah, I think I'm seeing myself now. You guys, you too. Obviously, the emotional impact is tremendous, but the financial impact is incredible. It is, it's, it's overwhelming. My husband and I both work very hard and there is absolutely no way that we would be able to do the things that we've done with Camille's Room if not for the support of um, organizations like Fragile Kids. I hope that in, that in the future that Fra the Fragile Kids Foundation will continue to grow and continue to receive community resources uh, to the extent that they can continue to provide the type of equipment that, and services that they provide to the children, not just in the metro Atlanta area, but statewide in Georgia. So my hope is that the community continues to see Fragile Kids Foundation as a very worthwhile investment. I think my outlook on life has inspired people to accomplish whatever they pursue and make people around me more comfortable with disabled people.